as the title reads, how to create a round room in Sweet Home 3D version 5.7. This is how I would do it. Uh, this is going to vary for everybody else, but this is the way I've discovered that I can make this happen. So what we're going to do first off is I'm going to grab my measurement tool and I'm going to do a measurement for what I consider to be the diameter of my room. In this case I'm going to do 30 feet. So we're going to come out to 30, set that, use our selection tool, I'm going to draw this down. So there's the area of, that I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm going to do select the wall tool. And I'm going to draw a wall. And I'm going to make that wall about 10% less the actual footage of my uh, overall diameter of the room. So in this case it's 30 feet. So we're going to make it about say 21 feet. Uh, set that for 21. Come back, select our selection tool. Double click the wall. <coughs> now, what we're going to do here is we're going to modify some information. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the height of the wall to one foot, which is going to effectively give me a one foot slab. I'm going to set my wall thickness to the lowest I can get it which and still be visible so I'm going to set it for one inch and under our content extent I'm going to set that for 270 degrees because that's the maximum that we can set an arc in the software so we click OK there we go we've almost got our completed foundation so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that new wall between my two lines looks like I just about nailed it 21 feet now the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to grab this wall copy paste it drag it down away from the other one I'm gonna double click it I'm gonna come back down to the arc intent and I'm gonna set that to negative 270 degrees and click OK and now we have a negative image we're going to drag that up and we're going to align it the best we can to the existing wall boom there we go now as you can see we've got a full circle that's one foot high one inch wide now for here what I could recommend you do is one of two things. You can come up and you can select our create a room tool starting at the northern tip or the top of the circle. Hold down your alt key and start clicking. About one foot along the edge all the way around. And this way you get a pretty smooth found surface. Okay, and there's the circumference of our room, the area, now we can double click, we come in here and we can set a texture, so we're going to set a texture, and we're going to set it as a redstone, click OK, click OK, and there is our flooring, 
or the bottom of the slab if you so choose to. This is a great way to create like an in-ground pool or uh, just a sunken well in a floor. Now if you need to make this solid, what we're going to do is we're going to delete out that. We're going to go into our miscellaneous tools. We're going to come down and we're going to find the cylinder. We're going to drag the cylinder over, kind of put it in the center of the room, double click it. We're going to modify it. So we know our height in this case is one foot, so we're going to set that to one. Okay, and then we know our overall diameter of our room is 30 feet, but we got a one inch thick wall, so in this case we're going to set it to 29 feet. Eight inches. Control C that number. Control V it below. Click OK. Holding your Alt key. Align it in your wall. Double click it, texture, we're going to put the same redstone tile on it, and there. Now we've got a raised floor, and as you can see, you may run into some of this, so you may have to adjust it a little bit, a little right, a little left, and now we've got a clean one foot thick slab that we can use to quote-unquote, build our room off of. Um, now, if you want to come in and create a wall to go on top of this, again, you're going to create your wall. You're going to modify that wall. But the problem is, is the wall cannot be changed in the elevation because it's locked to the base plane of the program. How do you get around this? Since we have a center object, normally all you should have to do is simply drag the wall on top of the existing object. And it should automatically boost itself up but it doesn't. So what I do is I compensate my wall and I create it as a nine foot wall if I need an eight foot to compensate for that height variation. And now I can have my eight foot wall and I can continue my design as such. This is something the program is not designed to do so you have to figure out a way to make it work for you. Um, that's basically it. I uh, hope this helps or gives you an idea to help how you can figure out how to create your own round room or round uh, block foundation.